that would be invisibility. Uh, apologist Ultimate, if you can hear us and can't talk. Uh, that makes things a bit more tricky, but it's, it's still doable. It's just, I will probably be on camera, but I'll have my boosted mask. It's a thing. Um, I just delete the footage afterwards. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, uh, what editing... I'm going to do... Sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, editing uh, the footage while it's happening is a thing I can do. Okay. But there's a, a possibility of failure. Of course. Um, what I'm going to do is before I enter the building with my... Because I've got an ultrasound built into my ballistic mask, I'll do an ultrasound perception on passive before I enter the building. And the option I have ultrasound is unlikely, but I'll do it. That's a very sensible precaution uh, that reveals sweet FA. Well, it was a fault. Um, but I'm guessing the other building would have that, so... Okay, uh, I'm going to sneak up then. Okay. Audio stealth. Can, can totally hear that nervous clicking. Sorry. Right, I've got five defectors to the door. Okay. And what are you opposing? Tell them not to miss a while. Three plus. And I do have waiting for thermal dampening if that applies. Okay, okay. Duly noted. Uh... Okay, got it. Okay. Uh, as you're infiltrating and the camera's doing its loop thing, at media, you see the uh, lift pop up on cam. Uh, Catching the edge of edge of her as she moves into position. I will try my best to make that not happen. Cool. Oh, I know what I should have asked. The braiding of that com link. <laughs> Uh, you've got enough hits on it, so I'll tell you that it is a mighty, mighty five. Ooh. Or That's is it actually... No, I'm a dirty liar. Uh, it's actually four. Uh, sorry. Still pretty good. Yeah. Well, the one I've got is it's ranking four. So. Okay, sorry, uh, I was looking up. It was edit file, wasn't it? Intuition plus five. I've been rolling too many dice. <laughs> okay, uh, you are successfully editing. Uh, you shift okay. things around, pitch sniffed, and there's no record of the person on camera anymore. Okay, uh, what do I see in the fire door? Is it a mag lock? Is it just uh, an old uh, lock? What do I see? Uh, it is a key code mag lock. Okay, I'm going to have to break the case then. Just just try one, two, three, four real quick. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> uh, never know. I'm, so, I, I haven't worked in a fair number of places that have something to that effect. <laughs> it's it's probably not as pointless as you think. <laughs> it is definitely the passcode for like the generic uh, register at my work. <laughs> yeah. What what you do is you put in one two three four, and if that doesn't work, then you use the building number. 
and it's an extended test. So yeah. have I done enough to break the case, or do I need to do a, another one? Uh, one moment, let me just look at the thing. So we've got four, four successes. It should be enough, but just to make certain... You are successful. Uh, does it have any uh, anti-tamper on it? Uh, perception. I feel perception. Okay. Uh, visual count, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, you examine the hell out of it, and as far as you can tell, there are no additional security devices. Uh, that's cool. So then I just need to break break that uh, pixel uh, thing itself. That's another block for me. Yeah. I'm going to edge that. That's just bad. <laughs> Actually, no. It's a uh, it's an extended test, so I don't need to. Okay. Just takes Ex longer. Extend away. That's bad. I've got five successes total now. Uh, is, is that enough to reach the threshold? I will check. You are in. Cool. Nice. Uh, you hear the soft shook. As the uh, bolt shoots back. Okay, I shall step in and do uh, a visual perception, and I'll also ask me to guide me to the warehouse area. Okay, uh, doesn't take much guiding. Uh, you're at one end of the. Uh, at one end of a corridor uh, that's lined on both sides with a with cages uh, filled with everything from cleaning to spares uh, and left and right side cages. Uh, you can see and then I, on the corners. Yeah. So I need to do a sneaking to get to there as well. So we'll do a sneaking roll. Mm-hmm. I will take that and hopefully media can drop me from the cameras if need be. It's a very good sneaking, but once again the cameras get a little glimpse glimpse of you at the corner of their that their technical eye. Uh, These cameras are in really annoying places. They're rolling brilliantly. <laughs> and so is media it seems. <laughs> uh, they can't beat that, so Yep, you do get it. Uh, see how many. Cool. Okay. Yep. Uh, once again, the footage goes bye bye. Okay. So now I need to do break break the case again on the new maglock. Now, okay. Is it broken, or do I need to extend it? Oh, in fact, I think I may be doing this wrong. Let me check the rules very quickly. Uh, it's an extended test. Sorry. I am doing it wrong. Uh, you are one shot. I was doing it as an opposed roll. It's just threshold is the remaining times two, uh, which is six. So you need one more. Yep, no problem there. Uh, Actually, you... no, I don't do a... Hang on, on extensors, do I just take away the minuses from the... Yeah, or... it's minus, minus one, dice a pair, round until you run out of dice. Okay, so I shouldn't have rolled eight there, I should have rolled twelve. Okay. You've I got don't... enough. 
Oh, it's disabled. Okay, I'm going to check for anti -tam tamper again. Okay. No apparent anti tamper devices. Oh, then I just need to fix that off then. Okay, carry on. Okay, I smashed that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to roll. You pick it. Okay, I will step inside. I will switch over the three boxes. Um, then I will step outside. I then need to relock the door and reset the case. Uh, actually, before that's a good plan, but you have to find the, where they actually are. Oh, yeah, my bad. Um, would we be able to tell me on the camera or not? Uh, I'll allow there's an assist, but you're going to have to do a perception. That's fine. Okay. You um, have a quick scan around. Uh, in fact, that's actually a good, very good point. Um, what, like... You're an elf, aren't you? No, I'm human. Uh, do you have low light vision or thermographics on your kit? Uh, I have... Yeah, contact low light. That's good enough. All right, then, yeah, you can see fine. Um, there's just safety lights on, not full lighting. But with that and that, you're able to pick out the boxes marked um, HVAC spares. Cool. I switch over the correct boxes, I then exit and now need to roll to read off the door and reset the case. Uh, I, want, I just want hardware rolls for putting the case back on, I won't make you do the lock picks. Okay. And that's actually less dice for me. Yeah. Uh, would that be an extended test again? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let's just trigger an alarm. Or possibly, in case of media. So, uh, do I roll to re-lock it as well? No, I'm giving you back for free. You can just... I just want to see you reassemble the case. Okay, that's that one done. I'll assume. Yep. Cool, I'm going to sneak my, my way back out. To the fire door. Okay. Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. Okay, okay, no, no dramas there. Okay, you're back outside, you're staying on the fire escape. And I just need to reset the case. Cool. And I'll do that again, extended, so... Yep. Still not enough. This case is a real bitch, guys. Seriously. This Drew's a bit script. <laughs> One more. Aha! Oh. Spend some edge, man. Ah, here's what it is. Now I've got it. Okay, you finally managed to get it back on. The screws were fiddly and you kept dropping them, but you caught them. Uh, and you just need to sneak back to the car now. Cool. Oh, I'm edging that. That is ridiculous. 
Actually, no, it's not eight dice anyway. I've I, I've rolled the wrong dice. It's fifteen. Whoops. <laughs> That's it. Oh, that uh. game is fifteen dice. Oh, okay. gee, I like it. And then I'm going to edge that, because that's what I said I'm going to need, and then I can sleep and get it back. Yay. <laughs> okay, you make it back. Uh, as far as media uh, and as far as far media can tell, no alarms were triggered. Yeah. Oh, and I uh, edged that, so I'm super sneaky. Got well him. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we, we still have, like, two things to do. <laughs> Yep, this is a multi-step plan, this is. Ooh. Yep. Well, I mean, the, these should be kind of easy, right? We, we just have to go and fuck with the, um, the what's it called, right? Thermostats. Words. Yeah, yep. we need to get a, a maintenance call to replace the thermostat. And then, um, what's the other thing? Um, uh, we need a security assessment. assessment. We need the security assessment from the security company. And which, then if we can, get uh, information on the research they're doing. Which we might be able to done. do through the local talent. Yep. Yeah. You should uh, pursue that first, just in case I have to, like, get both at once when I go back into the host. Yep, that sounds okay. fair. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um... So I guess we want to call up that drug dealer, right? That's our, our point of contact here. That's step one of the, the chain of contact, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, just for a second, uh, Ultimate, are you still there? Now that I think about it, I don't actually see him on the, or no, I don't see somebody on the, the table. You aren't listed on the thing. Like your own your own icon doesn't show up on the thing. Oh, I see my icon right there. I'm really oh no, I meant on the on the Skype call. Yeah. Oh, no, I was talking uh, about the table. I see five people. Sorry, he might have fallen asleep at the wheel. It happens. <sighs> I'm not taking it personally, but during a no, run, well. I have fallen asleep during a run, but it, it, it was a run where. I wasn't doing anything. It, I, I literally focused because, because of the face and everything was just matrix and everything else. I literally had nothing to do the entire run. As a decker, I, I, I apologize. <laughs> I I have been playing a bit of Hearthstone. I I will be honest. I am paying attention. I promise. But uh, it it doesn't hurt that I'm I'm doing badly in Hearthstone. So I've I've ceased paying attention to that. <laughs> you have been punished. Well, let's I see if your luck is any better here. I can only apologize. Uh, no, no, we... no. I, I am I am happy with the direction this is going. Yeah, you've, you've done the safest way that I can see. Um, just yeah. not necessarily always exciting. Speaking of exciting, what do you want to do? Call his dealer? Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, what time do you want to call him? Um, he's a drug dealer. What time is it now? It's, let's say... Half ten. Twenty twenty two thirty. This this is fine talking to drug dealer time. <laughs> so I we call I'll I'll call him up. Go. Cool. Uh, uh and just the, the general plan is to go <coughs> I'm just gonna talk to uh what do you say in this situation? The, the shadow run. So I want to talk to a guy who knows how to get things. A fixer. All right. Well, let's let's role play it. There's something to do. All right. So, okay. ring, 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 ring. Yeah. Who's this? Uh, a mutual acquaintance of ours gave me your number and told me that you are, uh, you know, a man who's kind of connected around here. Uh. You deal in certain products, but uh, I'm actually not calling about those. I, I want a bit of information. Willing to pay a bit for it, you know, but, you know, I know how this works. Uh, but just, a, you know, a couple words to point in the right direction. That's all we need for, uh, for tonight, sir. 
So let me get this straight. A complete stranger calls me at 22.30 uh, ask, asking for information uh, without... What? Are you fucking serious? I don't know. Why, why would I tell you that, anything? Um, the reason that anyone tells anyone anything. Money. <sighs> I, don't, I, I know it's late, man. I don't want to jank your chain here. I, I want to get something. You're the guy I got to talk to. That's it. All right. Let's... I don't know you. I don't trust you. But... Fair enough. Let's see what we can do. Uh, go to uh, what's open this time of night. Give me a second. Yeah. Go to Ribos. It's a bar on Jacobiser Street. You can't miss it. Okay, what would you recommend there? I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> I don't know. Am I fragging city ride? Meet me uh, there. Whatever. Eleven o'clock. I, I... All right. Um, uh, how am I gonna know you? Uh, sniff, sniff. <coughs> yeah. Fight. Green beanie. Troll. Can't miss me. Okay. I will be wearing a red tie, black overcoat. Good enough? Good Human. enough. Bring money. Right. Credit stick. Bye. Hey. See ya. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. Roll edge for me, boo. <laughs> uh, they are not at the same bar. Boo. Uh, can, I, can I call her up and go like... Because I, of, of everybody here, she's kind of the muscliest of us, you know, what with the cyber arms. So, is given that this is... And, and racist, <laughs> sir. <laughs> is it racist? I mean, it's... Or discriminatory. Mankind, the divided has told me it is definitely some form of prejudice against the augmented. Oh, but shut sure. it, Get your ass over. I mean, I have, I have <laughs> pheromones. That's why everyone's been ignoring how I smell. <laughs> I mean, it just kind of balances That's out what, for you. <laughs> <laughs> we all know it. He's gonna start changing the color of the suit whenever anyone's not looking. Hot pink <laughs> for two seconds. Yeah, up. I mean, I'm gonna. I I would ask at least people yeah. be like in a van nearby, if not in the bar. Boom! We'll totally come. It'll be great. Another <laughs> bar. Okay. Control. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I guess we all head there. Yep. She will yeah. totally be wearing her Mirror Shades Sh Seattle t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what time do you aim to arrive? Uh, meet Sin. I say now, because I can't remember what I said. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there a half hour early. I mean, we can just kind of head right over, really. Just Fair get enough. get ourselves together. Call Boom Hilda. Sweet. Okay. Uh, welcome to Ribos. It's a fairly generic uh, down at heel booze bar with old skis fixed to the wall and random arch not architectural what's the word farming random farming implements very carefully bolted on. Nothing with blades on, of course. It's not they're not stupid, but. Um, Nothing that could make a good weapon either. Uh, there's the, uh, uh, there's the uh, traditional uh, orc bouncer on the door, looking bored and cold in his uh, thin suit, uh, occasionally stamping his feet and rubbing his hands. Uh, luckily, there's not much of a line. Yeah. It is a school night. Remarkable. Okay. Uh, just walk I on actually... Up Forgot to do something. When I take the take, I took the boxes. Would it have been worth asking me to check the tags? I'm sorry. 
when I took the boxes from the maintenance plates, should I have uh, checked, checked for tags on them? Uh, that's possibly a thing you could have done. I could probably do that now. It's a bit late, but I could. Well, we'll pro- we should probably just ditch the things we took. We're, we're totally not keeping them. It's just they. So yeah, their sh- inventory is still correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just oh. remove the tags and then and then bin them. Otherwise, it'll be all traceable, basically. Yeah. So I need to do that. Um, do does the bug scanner add onto my dice for e- electronic warfare, or does, does it just replace them? Uh. You can you tag them with a matrix perception test, and media can just take care of them. Well, I was just saying, if I do the electric warfare plus the bug scanner, I'd be rolling a lot more dice than I would be just with matrix perception. Yeah, but there, but media probably still has more matrix perception dice. I'd be hitting fourteen dice. Um, uh, I can't be able to suffer. I assume we've got enough dice to put tags on and rewrite them. As I, I can't be asked. With that uh, stuff. Thank you. Okay. Done. It's done. Anyway, moving on. Uh, you're going as a one or are you going to drip and drab in? Uh, what's, what's the chance that I have any kind of entourage from uh, from my previous bar? <laughs> uh, did you actively look for one? I mean, she would she would have had a good time. But... <laughs> Uh, She's not a social character, so it's probably not an actual thing. Unless she ran into her... uh, um, You met all the cool happening people in Minnesota. I have to stop ragging soda. (laughs) You had a... It's probably a lovely place. You had an acceptable alcoholic time and did not pick up followers. That's fine. I don't need followers. I will totally bro-fist the the bouncer at work at the bar and walk in. (laughs) Uh, yeah. he barely looks up uh, except to say don't bring weapons here be uh, looking at you boom because you've got chrome you must be a psycho uh, don't break about. any face it's just college kids I'm not in the mood gotcha <sighs> and he waves a hand go on in it's fairly oh. lively uh, mostly full of college kids from uh, uh, U of MM. Uh. All right. Um, do I see? I, I know we're early, but do I see a troll with a green beanie? Uh, oh, perception. Okay. <laughs> what the hell is my perception? It's been a while since I've made the roll. Right? Yep, you'll do your perception roll in the Yep. And I think you've got tech periodic uh, vision, which I guess you've done another plus three. And then if you've got any vision enhancements, that has their rating onto the dice as well. Okay, so I got, uh, I got a nine naturally with. Oh, I just have vision magnification, I think. Uh, do you have the Tetrophic Vision Gene mod? Do I have the what now? Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, I can't even pronounce the damn thing properly. Um, uh, is, I'll just look it up now. I'll just look. Uh, yeah, the Tetrachromatic Vision Gene mod. No, no, I, I have no <laughs> Gene mods. I, I heard Gene mod, I should have just realized that. I was also asking Flatfoot if they did. Oh, I... Yeah, I, I'm Flatfoot. I do not. Uh, you just got nine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can it, Can I see a troll wearing a... They're pretty big. Uh, I don't know. You see no... In fact, there's a handful of elves and What's the words? Orcs around. No trolls uh, yet. Okay, are there, uh, is there like an open booth? Or is this like standing sort of bar or tables? 
It's clubby, but not very busy, so you should be able to sit down without too much drama. Okay. I'm going to sit down and order... I don't trust this place to make a mixed drink, so I'm just going to get bourbon. Cool. Uh, let's see. Video flat? What? Oh. Right, I see. So uh, I was confused. All right. Um, yeah, you get your drinks. No problem. Uh, lifestyle expense. Uh, do you do anything other than wait? And that's for everybody. Um, I'm probably gonna walk in and like, like, kind of sneakily have a quiet drink in like the corner, just out of the way, watching what's going on. Um, yeah, basically. Uh, would I need to roll perception if I can see anything, or not? Uh, just sitting and looking. Uh. I'm just going to assume you're looking for the guy. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Burn my picture when come to it. Okay, about... Hey! Oh. oh. There he is. Ah, oh, our magic support might be back. <laughs> you there, ultimate? Uh, hello? Hello! Welcome back. Hello. We oh, missed you. Hello. Sorry, my thing's been really buggy and kept disconnecting and stuff. I'm sorry? Sorry, my thing's been messing about disconnecting and stuff. Ah. Yeah, sure. Ah. Uh, you had a moment to shine, but we did it without you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we kind of would have liked to have done uh, improved visibility, but you weren't there. So, um, someone just uh, hacked the uh, cameras instead. Uh, we're all, at the moment, everybody's sneaked into a club meeting the drug dealer uh, that Boomhilda uh, managed to make contact with. Jesus, things really have went off course. <laughs> <laughs> We've been busy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, at about ten past uh, the time. <laughs> uh, roll that. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what happens. Uh, but yeah, uh, about 10 past, he's 10 minutes late. Uh, the troll comes in. Uh, smashed it. Uh, the troll comes in uh, with a uh, another troll, a uh, female. Uh, looks bored, suspicious. He's not... He's dressed like any of the other college kids, uh, which he's probably old enough to be. Uh, he looks around, spots, um, he just looks around, takes a seat, uh, still wearing his obnoxious green beanie. Uh, he orders a drink, uh, doesn't make any attempt to go over to anybody else. All right, uh, I'll give him like a minute and a half and I'll go over and, uh, kind of, is he at the bar, I guess? Uh, he he's, he's got another booth. Okay. So I'll just I'll just sit down opposite him. Uh, he's going, hey, uh, I'm going to take a seat. You have a mysterious stranger. All right. Let's see what you want. Any right. points for uh, a seat. What's that? Any points for a seat, you know. Come in, sit down. Right. Whatever. All right. Um, do I want to just straight up offer this guy uh, a DNI sort of thing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you? Yeah, I might. I, I might as well. Um, and I, I do have a jammer, so I think I'm just going to turn that on. So I think what I'm going to do is offer him my DNI, see what he does. If he accepts, first thing I'm going to say is I'm just going to go ahead and jam this just to, in the case that he notices, just he's not like, what the hell, man? Okay. Uh, 
He does not accept me, do you know? Well, just say, all right. I ain't gonna. F- I don't want you having my com link or my com code or anything. I just want to know what you want. All right, fair enough. So, as as I have heard, you're a guy that has access to basically one kind of product. Maybe not one kind of product. Maybe a variety of products, but all falling under the same sort of thing. I'm looking for a guy around here in you know this wonderful land you've got. The sort of guy that uh, would be able to get me access to a lot of things. Wide purview of, you know, possible items. Uh, he leans forward. Uh, his um, bony elbow, well, not bony, his um, growth covered elbows on the table. Uh, rubbing his temples. Oh my God. God, you talk like a lawyer. All right, I get it. Yeah, caution, great. Okay, so... Uh, right, you want me to put you in touch with someone else for some reason? Yeah. That's about the size of it, brother. Uh, I don't suppose I could beat out a reason or what you're looking for or what the fag you want don't worry mm. she's cool it's loud we're fine they don't give a frag here i just want to know right. what you want i'm just noticing my uh my out of character portrait for what's my, my little guy my picture kind of what's happening i think that's a troll opposite me <laughs> <laughs> anyway back back in character uh Buddy, do you, do you, Tremor, do you need to know why I need to know this? Do you, I can tell you it's, it's not terribly interesting. It's not something I want to give away. It's not something you really need. Help me to help you. What uh, frag do you want? And I'll tell you what I can do for you, if anything. Information, essentially. I need somebody who's plugged into what's going on around here. All right. What information? Mm. I'm not caught. I don't think you're caught. I just want to get this on with. I got class tomorrow. Man. He has what? I got class tomorrow, man. Uh, what you need to know is I'm willing to pay a little bit extra for a little fewer questions. You're a college kid. I get it. It's tough. Let me, let me help you a little bit out with those student loans. Well, that's Maybe what I want to do it. I don't know. What's that? What exactly do you want? I mean, I'm not trying to play hardball. I'm not trying to... I'm still not entirely sure what you're asking me to do for you. You ever heard of the term fixer? Yeah, I've seen the trids. Okay. Uh, out of character, I'm uh, just D and I going to go. No, no, I'm good. I'm just, I'm struggling to maintain subtlety. <laughs> Tell me where your underground contacts are. No. Um, I need a guy that is plugged into the security situation around here. If you don't know a guy like that, maybe you know a guy that knows a guy. Right. At last, we finally get something I can work with. Oh, right. let's see now. Uh, Hanny looks at I'm gonna no- I'm going to knock back the, uh, the bourbon and order another. <laughs> Uh, he looks at his girl. 
uh, looks at you, her. Uh, trying to decide if you ought to. <sighs> pardon me. Uh, pardon me again. Uh, that didn't count. Oh, right. that was out of character. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't. I'm not. I'm not some fucking shadow runner. <laughs> uh, I just sling a bit of Nova Coke. But uh, my guy might know a guy. Uh, give me ten minutes. Okay. Uh, he walks off uh, to the bathroom. Uh, there's a girl there. Uh, she just stares at you. Uh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, actually, DNI absolutely hack his comm link. <laughs> okay. Is that what you want to do? Uh, by all means. <laughs> I, I didn't think they'd let me. Roll dice. As, as, also, as a as a small sidebar, I I may need to go soonish. Not kind, not exactly sure, but just just a warning. I'll it's kind it. of variable, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, well, you're over the hump. I'll tell you that much. Okay. okay. Uh, Cena, hackings, hackings. Are you happy about level of success, media? Yeah. Uh, okay. It is my deep hope that he does not have a, a good complex. He's a costume. I wouldn't expect him to, but you never know. He's a college kid, but he's a college kid that deals drugs. So, um, What kind of hackings was that? Uh, that was a hack on the fly. I'm trying to get a mark on him, so he might have a mark on me. Uh, you are marked. Reboot, reboot, reboot. <laughs> reboot, try again. <laughs> okay, the mark goes away. You come online. Uh, and the troll comes out the bathroom. He takes a seat. Uh, in fact, no, he doesn't. Uh, he just stands behind you, hands on your shoulder, giving you a gentle massage with tips of his thumbs. I don't know what you're trying to pull, mate. I do not appreciate people fragging with my gear. Okay, so what you're going to do is leave right now, and I won't tell anyone that you were here, because if I ever see your face again, you'll be looking at looking up at your own asshole. Am I quite clear? And he takes his hands off your shoulder. Oh, sorry, had myself muted. Out of character. Uh, I kind of don't want to just. I kind of want to just kind of push through, if we can. Does that sound like a terrible idea? Well, you are a face. Uh, you are on a very bad footing, but it's not impossible. But this is better right. be good. <laughs> Listen, buddy. I am very far from home. I have not slept in like four days. I have been hung over for most of those four days. I am spending time with people that all, they, they want to bungee jump and just look at bridges. I want to go home. I realize no, that that might have been a poor choice. Not something, you know, I advised. Not <laughs> something I directly did. <laughs> you're uh, you're not. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm lying to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I want to go home. And fair's fair. You're a big guy. You're you're an intimidating fella. I am not going to be told to go home, tail between my legs, 
because some punk college kid is a little upset with me. I'm going to ask All right. some questions real quick, if that's cool. Go sure, ahead. go ahead. Uh, what is the general state of the room? I had six hits on a, uh, on a visual perception test. Okay, oh, so I see it now. Uh, why two? Uh, the second one was an audio perception to hear him talk bad about the bridge and going bungee jumping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, it's as it was. Nobody's really noticed that anything's going down. Yeah. Uh, if things continue on this line, things might people might stop picking up on it. At the moment, nobody seems to have noticed. Boomhilda's going to reach into her jacket and pull out her mirror shades and snap them and put them on as she wanders over towards the table. Now, things can uh, go two ways right now. Yeah? Yes? Uh, he doesn't answer. You've got his attention, but it's sort of a fuse okay. ticking down sort of thing. Now. The deck cord is burning. But you still have time. Cord? The deck cord, the destination cord is burning, but you still have time. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Now, things can still go two ways tonight. You can get paid a fair sum of cash for doing really nothing at all. Or you can have a bad night. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying. Are you trying to intimidate some, No, not really. I, I'm, I'm, coming to a, I'm coming to a point. Okay. Maybe you beat me into the ground. That's not a good night for me either. But I'm out of patience. You let me know when you want Something... me to dramatically enter this scene. Yes. <laughs> Something I was told many years ago that resonates with me to this day. Don't get mad. Don't get even. Get ahead. What do you gain <laughs> by kicking me out of here? Not much. You risk... Some serious bodily injury. I wasn't stupid enough, you know, to come here without a backup plan. My line of work, you never are. But maybe you still, maybe you beat the shit out of me. Maybe my head gets caved in. What do you gain out of that? Not much. You gain the sense of satisfaction that I screwed you over a little bit, kind of. Mostly just insulted your pride. Or you can move beyond that and you can get a fair chunk of change. Okay. Choice uh, is yours. You came all this way. Do you want to just get some stains on your boots, possibly a bullet in your head, or do you want to walk away with some money? Okay. At that point, I believe it is roll time. He's going to kill me, isn't he? I don't know. Not, not right here, probably. All right. Uh, am I rolling something? Uh, yes. I, you're either trying to negotiate him or intimidate him. Uh, which do you think you were doing? Uh, that was kind of negotiation. Um, kind of. Well, and I couldn't really go for lying. So probably negotiation. Okay. So he still likes me because first impression and pheromones. <laughs> Such a good first impression. <laughs> okay, uh, you take... You can't help like me a little bit. Minus one for being annoying. Uh, minus three for being hostile. Yeah. All right. Uh... So essentially you lose all of your platters. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Should I have this ready? Sorry. Twelve D six, right? Uh, it's this is yeah, this is going to be on the Wednesday, I believe. Boom. All right, I'm just trying to track how much edge I should have right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably also on cram. I probably did that at the other bar. Because cram's not yeah. a drug. It's a 
It's a mood enhancer. Uh, once again, does does five six it, having having a little um, awareness in this is five successes good? I should probably just add an edge to that. Yeah, just to be safe. This is a pretty. It's yeah. one of those things. It's going to be opposed in some way. He's going to have some bonus dice to that. He's going to maybe yeah, have some so situation I, I modifiers. Think... And the, the, the more successes you have over him, the better. Like rather than just throwing uh, you out, maybe he'll be like, yeah. you know what, I like you, and then you know, do that punch on the shoulder, break your arm thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I got five hits. So that's seventy-six. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you. I have already rolled mine, so. Okay. Fuck. Ah, uh, he glares at you. Ah. Uh, for a long time. Ah, uh, his knuckles click softly. Ah, uh, but just as things might start turning, uh, turn ugly, his uh, companion just gives a little head shake. Uh, he shakes and he, he throws up his hands uh, instead of he takes a sit down All right, I don't know what you're trying to pull I'm going to make another call because I still don't know if that bloke guy even wants to speak to you I'm going to let him know what's happened it's up to him it's, it's going to be money and this time do not frag with my stuff I don't, I don't yeah. know who you're working for I do not like it. Okay? We have an understanding? We're good. Good. You're wearing your yeah, testicles I, as a oh, tie. Oh, no, no. And he stomps off uh, to make another phone call. That would be an interesting fashion choice. <laughs> you have to take some balls to wear that. Yeah. That's a terrible <laughs> pun. If we go through all of this and I just get like smashed by a college kid <laughs> after going through the quietest like thing ever. Okay. Uh, yeah, assuming you don't frag with him, uh, he comes back about five minutes later. Take a seat. Does, uh, oh. does Footsie stop Boomhilder from sitting with him? Because uh, <laughs> she's gonna start talking to him I, about the bridge. I don't. I don't think he can stop her. <laughs> <laughs> he can barely walk around with his jacket on. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, she is only strength two. Oh. Okay. Well, you know, yeah, meat mind. strength. Uh, arm strength is a different matter. <laughs> anyway, A comes back. Right. Despite what I suggested, he's willing to meet you. Uh, it's going to cost you 1500 for me, and he might charge himself. Uh, he ignores Boomhielder completely. A certified cred stick or a few gas dollars I'll take. No credit. Uh... Yeah, at this at this point, I I I don't feel that comfortable negotiating him down. <laughs> How about fifty dollars? Meet in the middle. Uh, was uh, that serious? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> like I uh, I think this is overpriced, but I at the same time, I. I don't think we're we're getting. Okay. I don't uh, think he's willing to listen to me any goddamn more. Right. Uh, did you? How much is on the credit, Dick Boom? Uh, how much did he ask for? Uh, can't remember what I said. <laughs> uh, fifteen hundred. Fifty dollars. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so yeah, assuming it's full out, he checks it. Yeah. Gives you an odd. Great. Comp code. And it's over. His name is um, 
No way. He will not be meeting you in person. Uh, and to delete my phone number. I do not want to hear from you people again. Media, I want you to forward his phone to every like spam site you can. <laughs> Initiating protocol. <laughs> uh, asked it, like, so uh, what are you in class for? Philosophy. Give him the hmm, not bad. You seem like a very zen fella. I'm I'm gonna get up and just kind of start going. Okay, you've got to come, Carl. <laughs> yeah, you, right. add, you add that uh, com links, com code, to all sorts of nasty stuff. You bad person, you. <laughs> okay, uh, what do? All right. Um, and I guess we just call the number, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, picked up. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I, I'm sorry. going to. Um, I'm going to actually use. I got a. Uh, what is the little burner phone? Netlink. Netlink. Yeah. yeah I'm going to. I'm just going to use the Netlink for this. Cool. Actually, should I do that if we're going to be talking about sneaky things? Because uh, it has like no protection. Does it's it's pretty much what a burner phone is for. Uh, okay. Oh. Someone could listen uh, in if they were inclined, uh, but as far as we know, no one is. Yeah. Why would they suspect? Okay. Uh, we're just okay. a family I... on holiday. <laughs> I I may, may need to go in a couple minutes. Give me one. I got I got to take a, a phone call. Proceed with things. Make me charming. Uh, I will say that this is probably one of the most dysfunctional families I've ever seen. Yeah. Does anybody else want to take the call? Ultimate. So you did it. You're pretty charming. Am I? <laughs> um. If I remember well, that. no, I'm not. <laughs> Ultimate's not charming. <laughs> yeah, we only have one person who's really charming at all, and yeah, he's going to take a phone call. Oh yeah, I got my wires crossed. <laughs> yeah. All right, forget that plan. <sighs> uh, we could do a matrix on the guy's name that we can give, so we can find out any information about him. That's something that me just did say, and I can help. It's a fault. I mean, if you want to let me roll his dice pools, I'll totally call the guy in proxy. Of him. <laughs> yeah, or I can do that, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's a thing. But, uh... I am back, but I am more than likely going to be pulled away very shortly. All right, so let's just object right. this out to a negotiation roll and an etiquette roll, maybe? How's that sound? Okay. Yeah, we'll just do. I'm not going to roleplay. You get a call. What do you want to ask for, guy? No roleplay. Uh, yeah, just... We're we're asking about the what they're doing at that facility, uh, and what you know any security information. So two parts: security on that building and what the fuck they're doing in there, essentially. Right? Anything else? I don't think no, we really need anything. That's else. all we need. Maybe yeah, keep a number in case there's a further work in this area that needs to talk to him, but that's not super necessary. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you uh, after the grumbling because, you know, silly getting a bit late. Uh, see what he can dig up. Uh, okay. Should I have a negotiation, etiquette, both, one, either? A uh, paid the fee. I'm happy just to. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's see what he's heard. Uh, he calls you, calls you back about fifteen minutes later. All right, check my records. I they test survival shit there on animals. Uh, you know, weapon mods as well. Uh, anything where uh, I I hear they've got um, environments, big ass labs where 
made up, you know, like a cold lab and a hot lab and a desert and shit. Uh, they just run the, they run stuff through there. Uh, I don't know exactly. Oh, not heard anything about them. I just think nobody really cares about them, to be honest. It's just. Oh, that's me being, being pulled away again. I'm I'm gonna be in, in the chat, but not here. No, Sorry. That's fine. We uh, okay. we probably just need a hacking role in the target facility to get that maintenance order placed, and then that's probably it. Yeah, uh, he doesn't know have much more than that. Uh, he's not really told. He doesn't know anything that you don't really know already. They do grim shit on animals sometimes. Oh, what we can tell them. We can tell them if somebody finds out some information. We got somebody who might be wanting to buy it. Sounds good. Uh, oh, did, you, uh, did you ask about the security stuff? Was that in there? Uh, I don't know anybody selling that. I've not heard any information. Uh, he doesn't know. All right. Then. I guess that's that then. Alright, back again. Uh, I'm actually going to have to actually go in like a little less than 10 minutes. Yep. Okay. Well, what, you've what earned your cash. Awesome. Uh, I'll put it in chat what your reward is, if any. Hmm. Uh, we just need to hack the host, don't we? And just do that and then we're done. Pretty much. Okay. All right then. So we we pretty much have to let the night pass so the the ex can or the ex can get out of her system, <laughs> and we can get our reds back. I'm gonna try and sleep again. Nope. One day. So, yeah, you have another shitty night's sleep, just enough to keep you from taking fatigue penalties, not enough to refresh you. Uh. Okay, it's the dawn of a final day. No, not really, but probably. Today's the most important day, because I'm going bungee jumping. Oh, you're on, a, you're on a tight deadline. I mean, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get some action. Somebody do something. I'm, I'm doing the thing. Okay. Uh, I need to reset my counter. Got to make it. If better. I have to leave, just assume that I I drank until I passed out, and <laughs> okay. you guys put me onto the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That works. Just load him into the smuggling compartment. My suit is now purple. Ooh, good choice. Okay, you are in. Well, oh, sorry, you have got one mark. All right, I will. I will jump into the host and then try and search for the maintenance uh, schedule. Oh, I should. I'll get another mark on them first, just because I probably need it. Can you keep yeah, all that? No. Yes, I. My limit is nine. Sweet. You get another mark. Uh, right. You also you also get a question if you want one, but I think you're fairly happy. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm ready to to make this cut right through this. Cool. Like a decker would. Smash the system. Yeah. All right. Swatch, uh, swapping in the search program. Looking for that uh, maintenance lot or maintenance schedule. That's good. Let's see how lucky you are. You are lucky. 
Uh, you do find the file. Uh, it's in the secure section, but you have two marks, so what the hell. <laughs> All right, perceiving. Is it encrypted? Yes. Is it data bombed? No. All right. Um, do you guys think we have enough information on the security stuff that they would be satisfied with it, or should I attempt to double dip? Uh, I'd say double dip. Just I mean, try and we, find that out. we don't exactly have a time limit, so you could easily just do this thing and then come back in in a day or two and look for other stuff. Well, every time I crack a file, it sets off an alarm. So I'm a little wary about doing it over and over again. Yeah, so, so just do it now. And just, yeah. If it doesn't work, then we're done. Fair enough. All right, I will I will do another search and look for... um Security protocol, I guess. Uh, so was that your... Um, that five success, was that your um, security protocols? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was the search to find the, uh... The, the, yeah. Janitor stuff. Okay. Yep. Roll it. Uh, yeah, screw it. That'll find it. Uh, you find a, a number of files, all a, a folder, a directory... Uh, a directory tree you can grab uh, with security related information on it. Okay. Cool. What you want to know? Is there a data bomb? Yes. Yeah, figures. So I, I, I will ask, is it encrypted? Yes. What's the rating on the data bomb? Five. All right. Swap my programs around a bit. Right. I will attempt to defuse that. Um just just to be safe, I'm gonna edge that. Oh wait, no, that's uh that's my limit. Never mind. Okay, uh so uh, diffuses your limit. Well, uh... Oh no. Again, it's a very tight moment, but you do succeed in di disarming the bomb. <sighs> One hit again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Time for the double, uh, double decrypt again. You need to get a higher limit, man. There's, there's very, I like, I have to buy a new deck in order to do that. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, gonna try and break the the encryption on both files at once. Don't love that fork. And and I will edge that actually, just to get just to make sure this goes smoothly. All right, max of six. Okay, uh, so first one the um, janitorial file. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, you successfully decrypt both files. Uh, can I get matrix perception of you? All right. Okay, uh, you see security is reacting, uh, but you don't see anything to make you nervous as yet. I'm already nervous. But yeah, okay, I will... Um... Alright, edit, edit the, uh, the maintenance thing first to, uh, to insert the the request for uh for the up or yeah for the replacement of the thermostats okay uh hey sorry just popping in uh i'm actually leaving now uh i'll see you guys later it's been nice playing with you okay yeah okay, yeah. okay man thank you for coming All right. Been fun. Yeah. Uh, what's it doing? Media, media. Okay, that's good. I don't think I can actually beat that. I, oh, I can, because, <sighs> pardon me, limits. Uh, yes. Uh, but you successfully edit the file and uh, submit a replacement order for. Uh, particularly, I care where they do it. I Not particularly. To, I was. To ask for them to do a whole bunch of them. Yeah, ready. a very wide, a very wide replacement thing. Okay. You know, uh, ready submit, for the winner, they want to make sure they work. You submit an order for replacing all the ones on first floor. Yeah. Okay. And then just copy over the security uh, protocols, and hopefully this will be it. Okay. Uh, can I get a logic plus sleeve from you, please? Of course. You may also want to uh, re-encrypt the file that we... the the maintenance file? So this way it looks like we were here for the security file. Yeah, Ooh. that makes sense. Ooh, that's oh, a good well, idea. no, yeah. I mean, in theory, you could re-encrypt both, actually, but... Well, so it's kind of like leaving a an intentional trail of like, hey, we were hacked into, let's find the thing that was decrypted, and then when they find the security file, they're like, oh, this is what they were messing with. Damn kids. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I'm okay first. Oh, you make it sound like Matrix combat is dangerous. It's it's not dangerous until you get caught. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, what do you want to do? Um, was I successful at copying over the security thing? Uh, one second, I need to roll that as well. Yes. All right. Then I will take their advice and fork a encryption onto both of those. Um, well, can I do it with the same key? Uh, because if, if they don't have the key to open it, it'll be pretty obvious what I tampered with. <sighs> you did magic perception it, so decrypt it. So yes, I'll say yes, you can. All right, I will. Uh, I'll throw that down. I might even make it better for them. <laughs> no, you would make it exactly like it was. <laughs> yeah. T true. True. <coughs> how how do you even encrypt a file? I've never done this. It's an edit file action. Ah, uh, okay.
Uh, are you happy about Evelyn's success? I'd edge it, man. This is the la- literally the last thing we have to do, and then the run's done. No, no. The last thing I have to do is get out of here without getting link locked. <laughs> yeah, we can just pretty I've got one edge left. All right, I'll I'll edge this. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Cheap to buy back up. All right. If they catch me, I'll just be like, "No, I'm helping." <laughs> Dang. Uh, what's your limit for that? State process. Uh, uh, six. six. Cool. But I'll, I'll be intentionally limiting to it to whatever it was. Yeah, so in five. Uh, in fact, I'm not going to resist that. Okay, you have successfully re-encrypted it with the same cipher that, they, that you have extracted. All right. Uh, downgrade to AR and jack out and reboot? Okay. Uh, you do so successfully. <sighs> All right. Uh, you are sitting in your s- sitting location, and you have files. I I think we're done. There'll be a sim rig recording of like free falling that you guys will get, <laughs> and, and just adrenaline. Okay, uh, you still have four days. Is there anything anybody wants to do with those four days? We did things pretty quick in terms of actual time for the I mean, I'll enjoy the sites that Minnesota has to offer. Okay. Uh, you're going to stay in the same hotel? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> well, now that you've asked that, I want to say no, but... The real the, the answer in my heart was yes. Well, okay. I'm staying with media because I have no money at the moment until we get paid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you f- pay your bills. Um, you don't get any knocks on the door. Nobody burns your sins. Uh, you have a satisfactory time in your oh, own ways. I probably take the bellhop out for a date one night. <laughs> okay, let me second. I need to roll that. <laughs> you never know, you might get a bellboy contact. That's you have a very nice time. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> he seemed like a nice boy. It would be hilarious if we went on a double date with his troll friend. <laughs> okay, and eventually. Yep. Bully shows yeah. up in his bus of mystery and fun. Uh, yeah, I would say, like me just suggested, we let them know this is possible. Mission accomplished. We're done. And let them know, you know, when the date that will be installed and everything. Okay. Kind of oh yeah, we should confirm if the data taps are working. Exactly. Yeah, we we should make sure that that they're all up and running and kosher. Roger. That is a good question. Let me check. Hmm. Because they were hidden pretty well, so I know who they'll in theory be found. Okay. (sighs) All right, yep, okay. Uh, if you get a call back saying we won't find out for they're set to run they're not set to switch themselves on until next week uh, but I am seeing a heartbeat signal from at least one of them so there's that we're happy enough that side is taken care of looking forward to seeing your data do you do anything special on the bus ride I try to explain the myriad of pictures that I have taken from the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a 
And uh, I would enjoy them, considering I like uh, architecture and engineering and all that. I will Four, ask in 48 great. hours. <laughs> 48 hours of this goddamn aerial bridge. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm having a great time talking about it, and everyone else is just going, shut up, you're boring us to death. <laughs> right? Uh, it probably won't be the whole 48 hours. There will also be the fact that there was really nothing to do in here and that skydiving was, or not skydiving, bungee jumping was great. Cool. All right. Uh, you get back to Seattle without incident. The checkpoints are no dramas. The temporary IDs you get given are barely even looked at. Uh, it's a smooth journey as far as 48 hour buff rides go. Uh, Mr. Sorry, Mrs. Johnson. Uh, arranges to meet back up in Poyle up a uh, different parking lot this time but uh, once you've seen one you've seen them all uh, she shows up and says well have you got the data flourish present hmm uh, checks through it uh, waits for a few moments Okay. Very well. Uh, not quite as much as I hope to get, but I can work with this. Uh, Eleven thousand was the agreed upfront, wasn't it? Ah, uh, I can give you an extra thousand on that for this day. That sounds very agreeable. Uh, okay. So, yep, she hands over to each of you a certified credit stick uh, with an amount of union on it that you were successfully negotiated for. Like that? You did not hear this. I do not wish to... And of course, please do not let anyone know what uh, you've heard. We want it to be a surprise. Yo, Minnesota kind of is surprise. super boring. Well, that's why you get the big new one, isn't it? I mean, you're lucky <laughs> that they had this bungee jumping, or else, oh my god. Next time, though. Whew. And of course, the bridge. You can't go out the bridge. The bridge is very nice. That's fascinating. Goodbye. <laughs> and she <laughs> makes her way out to the in her little van. As fast as her wheels can carry her. Damn, it is dark. Goodness. You are alone. And you got paid. Yep. I gotta, call yeah. my, I gotta call my fixer to see if he can find me a thing. Do you do anything uh, at the end of... Uh, anything at the end of run? Not shopping. Anything you want to do or say or role play or whatever? Nah. I'll offer fist bumps. <laughs> yeah, I... I will piss this one's like it's been a pleasure to work with you guys, you're professional. And that's what I like to work with. Cool. It's been a pleasure. Uh, that was Heart of a Beast. Uh, as well as the um, 12,000 million, uh, you also get five karma. Woo! Uh, you've did it in the safest way possible, and all that fun stuff I hoped you'd do, you didn't do. But well done. Sorry. <laughs> we were too sensible, weren't we? Yeah. I well, mean, I mean, any just look at the place. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I was too sensible, you, but, but okay. Uh, Ultimate Boomhilda. I'm sorry you didn't have much to do on that. It's just a way to shake yeah. out. There were routes that would have put you in more action. But you didn't take. It's the way things go sometimes. And I get to go bungee jumping and see a cool bridge. And cool. get paid 12 grand for it. I mean, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yes. Uh, working for the man or working for the people. Uh, if you're going to do any of that, please put it in the Skype chat for my records. Uh, I'm also open for shopping if you want to buy anything with your new wealth. See, for the things I want, I need contact. The contact I need, car. I've always need money to then get the item with. So I, I'm, I'm stuck. 
I need both more of both. That's the problem. Fair enough. Twenty. I got a good feeling about this. Um, and I am. The uh, hell are we trying to buy? Don't worry. I, I think I have to declare this, but I'm going to buy off my uh, my jazz addiction. Are you now? Are you now? Oh yes, media, distinctive Hi. style. Oh yes, my favorite part. Uh, would you like to do the honors? Oh no, you should do it. Cool. It's one d six, I believe, isn't it? Yep. Uh, anybody else have um, oh, wrong button? Nope. Anyone else have distinctive style? Oh, yeah, I, I need to lose 20% of the reward because of being uh, a corporate li limited sinner. Yeah, make sure you deduct it when you put it on your sheet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. I, I, I want to get rid of that as fast Ooh. as I can. Jeez. I can't remember if that's good or bad. That's that means I get either a public awareness or a notoriety. Uh, I will say you get a n plus one notoriety. Oh goddamn! <laughs> it keeps happening. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, that's the one you easy to buy off. Buying off is for suckers. <laughs> uh, because this... you got wankered on a job and bodged up <laughs> the hack because of it, you bad person, you. Yeah, that's you, true. You that is that's pretty man. shitty. Yeah, because you I, didn't want to spend edge. Hey, I got clearance for it. <laughs> uh, can you roll a different twenty F? Oh, see, one second. 